To a family's plea for results after a mom and her dog are killed in a hit and run crash at a busy intersection. It has been more than a month since the wreck and troopers say they have received only one tip that did not pan out. We first told you on June 4th when Gail Kelly was hit and killed along John Young Parkway near Hunters Creek Boulevard in Orange County. All new tonight, News 6's Amanda Castro is speaking with Kelly's daughter about the investigation. This was just like a sucker punch out of left field. Tara Steiner says her family's life was ripped apart five weeks ago when her mother, Gail Kelly, and her dog were killed during a hit and run crash. I turned on the news and that's when I saw it. Um, I saw a report of an elderly woman with her dog hit, John Young, and I knew it was her. The crash happening on June 4th on John Young Parkway near Hunters Creek Boulevard. Steiner says her mother was walking her dog Tucker, something she did every day when she was hit, the driver taking off. She says troopers told her the 78-year-old was crossing on a green light. I just can't find in my heart that she would have ever done this and crossed on a green light. It had to be that the dog either got spooked by something, she was trying to get out of the traffic, she would have done anything for him. Anything for the six-month-old puppy who she got to keep her company after her husband of 59 years died in November from pancreatic cancer. Steiner's mother moving to the area three weeks before the crash to be closer to family. Family was, was her thing. Um, she had an incredible relationship with both of my children. FHP says Steiner's death is one of 12 fatal hit-and-run crashes in Orange County so far this year. That's nearly 20% of all fatal hit-and-run crashes in the state. I don't understand how somebody could just take off. Troopers say they only got one crime line tip in this case that didn't pan out. FHP releasing this surveillance video after the crash, hoping it would drum up leads. But Steiner says she still doesn't have any answers and hopes someone can help her family get results. Somebody has got to be out there that knows about this. And I think that that's my most frustrating thing because how do you sleep at night? How do you go about your day every single day? and know the pain that you've caused somebody. In Kissimmee, Amanda Castro getting results, News 6.